Hey y'all, hope everybody's good. I want to come to you broken nail and all and just review this texture ID coils line, the twist and butter. So go ahead and subscribe. All right, I went ahead and washed and conditioned my hair already off camera. So I'm just gonna read some of the ingredients, which is water, fruit oil, olive oil, and for those of you who don't like glycerin, it does have glycerin as the fourth ingredient. So this is what the packaging is looking like. The smell smells kind of like the old one, but fruity. Um, it is thick, but as you can see, it does slide down the jar. So it's like a jello-y consistency. And when I rubbed it in my hands, it rubbed right in. So right now, since my hair felt so good with the coconut water in my hair, I went ahead and used the Camille Rose one this time. So I do have that leave-in in my hair right now. You guys already know the drill. I sectioned my hair off um, into three sections in the back and then clip the rest up. And I just work on that smaller section, which I do split in half, comb through thoroughly, and then I begin to twist. Now I gotta make sure my hair is extra detangled before you start your twist because you know, that can cause frizz when you're taking them down. Once I got my hair all twisted out of the way, I'll go ahead and grab some of the butter, just starting off with a little bit initially. As I'm running this thing through my hair, y'all, I feel all the moisture in it. Even with that glove on, I felt how it was just sliding through my hair. And look at that definition. I'm not sure if you can use this on its own for a wash and go, but this is a good start. It really gives some definition, y'all. I really like this product. Um, as you can see my face, I'm impressed. So let's go ahead and start twisting that thing. So if you watched my other videos, you guys already know the drill and how tight I twist and I make sure I'm holding it before I wrap it around again. But I want y'all to see this little coil at the end to let you know just how strong this cream is. It's acting like a gel. So that's the part that I wanted you guys to see. Look at that thing. That's impressive. Mm, guess it told you. <laughs> had to make sure it wasn't just acting right on one side. I had to do that again. Like, let me see if this is gonna perform like this throughout my whole head. Cause you know, we can have different textures depending on what side of the head we on. So like, I just had to make sure. So this is what things are looking like when it's all twisted up. I was so ready to see what it was gonna look like taken down. So the next morning I put a little oil on my hands and started taking them down. And y'all, this right here gives the perfect amount of hold. like. My other creams and butters, to me, they only last like two to three days tops. But this right here let me know that I can go a full five day work week with this butter. I mean, it really has some hold on it, y'all. Like you put a custard on top of a cream. That's the kind of hold that it had on it. So I don't know. You'll see when it's all taken down. What are your thoughts? So not only did it have the perfect amount of hold, but it also helped when time to separate. It was separating on its own. So I did the other side just because I got a little closer to the camera for you guys to see. Um, I really didn't have to pull too much in order for it to come apart. It was naturally separating on its own. And for those of you who take down your twists and feel like you don't know when to separate, because I don't know, maybe you're just pulling it apart and creating frizz. I think this is the product for you because it just, it just falls apart on its own. And that gives so much definition. Did I mention that this product is only $8.99? Just $8.99. Okay, so normally I don't do so much fluffing it out with the pick 
but because this is a butter and it's heavier and um, it doesn't allow for too much frizz, it made my hair look a little flat to me. So I'm just going in to create some shape and some volume. Um, I don't get too crazy with the pick. You know, I don't like that because throughout the week it will get bigger. But I just wanted to play with it a little bit and get the shape I wanted. That's it. I did enjoy these little spiral looking curls that it gave me in the front. You guys see that? I really like that. Um, so this is what the back is looking like. I never know because I can't see in the back. But yeah, that looked good. Anyway, I love you guys. See you on the next one.